This is Chris Presents. It's uh, with Elias Friday Konyanyan. with Elias Konyanyan. Yeah, it's Friday, October 27, 2017, and it's approximately 3 p.m. and we're just walking down in North Nicosia. So Elias, take us to the old neighborhood. We're gonna well, go. I mean, I know where we're going. We've just, we've just crossed over to the so, northern part of Nicosia. And we're in Loch Magi. Do you know why they call it Loch Magi? Because well, there was a, uh, Tuchar told me there was an Armenian surname Lokumades here. Lokumades, yeah. Lokumades, and that's where the name came from. Well, so let's this, go down this way. This road uh -huh. to keep you on it. Yeah. Before Lidra was Lidra, uh -huh. it was called Makridromo. Yeah, the long uh, okay, the long road. And if you came to the Turkish side, yeah. which was open in those days, and if you look, you'll find a sign somewhere saying uh, Uzunyol in Turkish, which means uh -huh. Makridromo. Makridromo, yeah. So the original name is still there, but it's in Turkish, Uzunyol. I did see it somewhere here once before. All right. I think if you go around the corner here, you'll So let's go this it. way with the Armenian churches, and then we'll go around. We're not yeah, going to okay. go spend too much time over there, because we yeah. did a whole entire video. But we're going to walk down the street here. And... Uh, then I'll show you what uh, the honey to Panjaro is. You know, you ever heard of honey to Panjaro? I've heard the name. Yeah. Well, that's what they got the name from. I'll show you. That's what the church told me. It's an area, a big area with uh, with tradesmen and everything inside. So, so we're just walking in yeah, North Nicosia with Elias Kohalian. This will take me behind where I used to live. Yeah. Opposite where I used to live. Yeah. So. Uh, we're just gonna go and see where uh, the road will take us. So we're gonna go straight that way. And once I see the name of the street, uh, everyone watching, I'll tell you what the name of the street is. But so far, I don't see the, the street name. Oh, here is the street. Here is Bav. It'll be in Turkish. It's Bav Sokak, so it's Bafo Street, right? Yeah, Bafo Street, yes. Yeah. So let's take a picture. Bav Sokak. There you go. So we're in uh, Bafo Street. I'm wondering if it's the same Bafo Street we have on the other side. Yeah, it probably is. Near the Armenian, the Catholic yeah. Church, because it's pretty, it's pretty close. So we'll go down this way. If you go up here, uh -huh. that's where I showed you last time when we filmed here. Where that, I uh, think we went this way. Where the Turkish, uh, Turkish paths were. You want to walk through here maybe? The, the Hamam, yeah. Yeah, let's walk okay. through here and let's see what, uh, I don't know you what really, the name of this street is. All these tourists we're seeing, uh -huh. they should have somebody accompanying them to tell them the history about these places. Yeah, it's probably, they were probably having lunch and... But anyway, the, tell me about these houses here. Well, these were... Okay, we're on Kappa Street, here you go. Kappa Sokak. Is that how you say Kappa? Because Ilya, I know you yes. speak Turkish as well. You're Armenian and speaks Turkish and Greek. Chapa? No, no, not All these were businesses. Yeah, there's here another store here. With garages for cars. Is that, let's go straight over. You say you want to show me over there? Yeah, the the hamam is? I think that's where the hamam is. I've well, got a thing that's it there with the, the beige wall, I think. Yeah. How old were I you mean, when you lived here? Like uh, 12? Up to, up to the age of 12. Oh, okay. that yeah, that's how it just what sounds just like me, yeah. yeah. On the other side, we yeah. For the UK after that. All right, and then... Uh, yeah, this must be there. This is it here. Yeah, this is the... That's the Hamami. Oh, yeah, I remember when we came through here. when we came yeah, through yeah. here. Yeah, And then he goes here to... Here he goes uh, down to Loch Maji again. Yeah, yeah. But, but we are going to go this way, though. Yeah. There are all sorts of Armenian businesses here. Uh -huh. From garages to... Uh, Tell Pan me again the name of the street, because you remember Belik, it last... Belik Pasha. Belik Pasha, here you go. Yeah, that corner there... Yeah, let's walk used to, to be an old cinema, caught fire years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, when I was still here, it caught fire. Just here. So, so what is it? Here, from here down, it was all Armenians. An yeah. Armenian business. You said Belik Pasha? Yeah. Nice, nice call that. The nose of it, anyway. So we just go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see along here, there was a just turn around. Fur, there, there was a furno here. Uh -huh. Armenian furno. You know the guy last time from Toronto, Armahoni Ara. Yeah. Well, his uh, his uh, uncle used to have a furno here. Got, I think it's one of these two. One of these. I've got a feeling it was that where the big yeah. doors are. Uh, there was a panel beater here, another Armenian. Yeah. All right, let's walk down yeah. that way. 
Which way you want to go? This way? Down here used to be Dektasha's we house. We didn't go this way before. Here. Let's go this way, maybe. Are you going to uh, you're going to go the long way around if you want to see the Victoria Street area? Yeah, uh, can we go over there and then come back? Cause we well, we can turn around and come All right, back here. wait until the car comes. There's yeah, a we car. can go towards the car. All right, keep parked away. So let's go, yeah. let's go straight. There. Uh, so this is the Virus Pasha we are on now? No, Which, where are we now? What street are we now? No, that's where the mansion is talking about. It's Belik Pasha. Belik Pasha. All right, let's go straight this way. This garage here on the right uh -huh. used to be an Armenian. This garage. Do you remember the guy's name? Uh, no, I can't. Not a, I know you were a little kid. All right. I can't. But it's still here, exactly as it was. Yeah. There was a Turkish guy be here with a full the mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kuluri, Dashinovites. Eliovites. Eliovites here. Everything, yeah. And there was a scrapyard in here. Uh huh. On the right. Right over in there. Here, this was all a scrapyard. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, this was all. This was all Armenians living here. And then this leads to Victoria Street, obviously at some point. It will end up in Victoria Street in the end. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go straight. There was another Armenian family used to live here. In this one. In this little house here, yeah. Where's the doorway gone? Oh, there it is. My God, this looks yeah. very Our old. Little doorway, yeah, very rocks. old, yeah. They put a galvanized roof on it since, by the look of it. Yeah, they live here. In here. Uh -huh. There were. Let me just turn around the camera. If you went through that doorway there, uh -huh. there were three dwellings inside where Armenian families. There was another one to your left, which brought you behind this house here, and this house here was a mixture of Armenians and Greeks used to live in this big house. Oh, really? Each one used to share one little corner of it. My aunt used to live here. My mother's sister. All right, let's go. We're going straight. Nice, nice dog. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, this was another. I know it was um, crumbling last this, time. Yeah, this is another crumbling. Armenian family, the Mostichan family. Uh huh. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, I, st I still picture the mother used to sit on the veranda here, which is falling apart. Uh huh. She used to sit there doing either knitting or lefkaridiga. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, this was Eddie's garage. The Fiat agents, and all that's left of it is this fencing because this was still here when I was a kid. So this was a garage, huh? It was a garage, yeah. Eddie's garage, it was called. Was the Greek uh, operated no, or Armenian? I can't remember with it, but I mean, we never yeah. differentiate Greeks and Turks to be honest with you as a kid right. in those days. But you see this wall here, uh -huh. it used to go all the way with another gate there. And the fencing at the top is original of what it was because my sister as a child. Because that's where I used to live. Oh, that's your house right that there. Doorway there. Yeah, yeah. The one next to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there. see it. And my sister tried to climb over this fence once as a kid. Uh huh. And one of those spokes. Really? Went Hit her went and went into her thigh oh, wow. here at the back. Yeah, very painful. All uh, right. This was an Armenian family here. This one. Sarkisa used to live here. The guy that I told you with the Furno down there, the Armenian guy, the uh -huh. Amounis, they used to live here. Uh, that corner there, the downstairs, my father rented it once and he used to make shoes there, handmade shoes. Um, Show me again your house, which one was your house? This one here. Uh, with the brown door? Yeah, the one oh. with the brown door. It's not Number the original door, it's been... Number 34, this one? Yeah, this one. That's not the original door. Uh -huh. And they've uh, plastered the face of it. Uh -huh. And this room here, even though it belonged to this building, it was part there of was that a doorway uh... through, and that was a bedroom. Uh -huh. And I remember when I was about four years old, uh, it snowed in Nixir. Really? And yeah, they put my bed right next to this uh, window here so I could see the snow. I had mumps. <laughs> so the door is not the original, but the windows are, huh? Well, that door is, isn't it? No, the windows, the, window the original window windows, though, yeah, all right? Yeah. This was a lovely house inside this one this here. This one, yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. Because wow. our back gardens used to sort of join. And there was one tap that we used to share for water, because there was no other running water. <laughs> yeah, this is... It's all like a dream, you know, like... Um, I don't know. 
I know, well, this was the Armenian quarter, yeah. so it wasn't just Victoria Street. I mean, it was this building even, here, which has become a museum this, now, yeah, let's call it a there bit was closer. probably about seven or eight uh, Armenian families used to live here. Already? Yeah. Oh, this is the ethnographic museum. Yeah. That maybe this is the Dervish Pasha Museum. Oh, yeah. wow. So inside, it's quite unique. Ask him if we can film inside. If anybody's there, and then we'll go and show the interior. This is the Riz Pasha mansion. I'm just going to show you what that. And this is the Riz Pasha, the street where Elias uh, grew up as a child. He was here up to 12, 12 years old. And he's giving us a, a tour of the Armenian quarter. We did a similar video last year with six Armenians. We went inside the Armenian church, Armenian monastery. This one though is a little bit different. We go to the side streets as well, not just Victoria Street. And we're going to show you around the areas where uh, Elias grew up and he knows, he knows all this uh, the streets. Elias. Okay. okay, thank you. So this is the... This is very unique. It's an uh, anthropographical museum. You know, this, um, this is typical Cypriot, these archways. And oh, yeah. See, you know, nice. It's fantastic. It's, uh, oh, wow, yeah. yeah. We used to play here, we used to come and play here. What's this over here? Fornos? What are you doing no, there? Uh, this, I Cook. think it was uh, some sort of uh, water well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh, yeah, that's rare. Yeah. Interesting. These trees were here when I was a kid. This one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, we used I, to I, climb them. Because exactly. there were branches lower down. Wow. We used to climb them. Yeah. The architecture is uh, it's so stunning, beautiful, yeah. it's so unique. That's like in the 1800s, right? Yeah, no, uh, wonder, no wonder they made it into a museum now. Yeah. I mean, they've done a nice job of it. It's, uh, so th this was the Riz, the Riz Pasha's mansion, it says. Yeah, see, these outdoors, I mean, you know, the Yeah, we have a similar th one house in the, uh, on the other side, the, the Haji Orgasi Kornasso's mansion became a museum. I think it's the same uh, concept, yeah. some of the same era similar architecture and everything. Wow. Yeah. So each one of these rooms uh -huh. was an Armenian family lived in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah. So this would be, you know, the whole house of one Armenian family, this room, basically. Yeah. In those days. You know, there probably have two, three kids, beds everywhere. This is the art of waving, he says, in Cyprus, dates back to the ancient times and riches is speak in the Middle Ages. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a nice mural. Yeah, wow, I passed through here many times. I never looked inside. Yeah, I, inside. Well, the door was closed. It just looked like a local house. I never knew they, they uh, converted into a nice museum. Wow. Yeah, so Real nice. Uh, another house of an Armenian family. Yeah. We went right. upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this was right next. It's right next to your house. Yeah. Two doors. Yeah. Go ahead and I'll follow you. Two doors away. Obviously, this staircase has been replaced. Yeah. But here again, you see. Look at all these different rooms. Yeah. So the all, bride each room. one had a family living in it. Yeah. This whole building. Uh -huh. I'm guessing there must have been probably at least minimum seven, seven families, if not more. Living in there, wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bedroom, oh yeah, this is really yeah. traditional bed. Look at the ceiling. 
<laughs> yeah, high <laughs> ceilings. Yeah, and the woodwork up there, look. Yeah. You know, this corner uh -huh. sections holding it all up. I mean, this today would be two floors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Real, real nice. So this is uh, our having done with the music one hand. This is the bridal chamber. He says here in the Turkish Cypriot culture is tied in with the traditional wedding ceremonies of the period, the marriage process, which varies according to the socioeconomic state of the people continues until the arrival of the bride and the groom in the bridal chamber after the wedding. So this is after the wedding. This is what they meet when they meet after the wedding, he says, at the bedroom. Yeah. Wow. And we're going to show you some traditional... Up there, there's a nice big room in there. Do you want to go and clone this in there? Let me just show this. Handmaids, handmade... Uh, These are head scarves, embroidered wow. head scarves. Oh, this is the exhibition room. So let's I'm go. I'm so glad they preserved this building. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I did. They did, yeah. So let's see who this gentleman is. Oh, this is the Riz Pasha. This is the, the place uh, that is named after him. I guess yeah. it was his house. I don't know what the story is behind this building, who it was built by and what the purpose was. Uh -huh. All I remember as a child is that Armenian families used to live in here. I mean, each room was this the is... house for one family. Yeah. But where are all these Turkish guys there? Rich Pasha and all these. Uh -huh. What well, did you say? There is another room somewhere? What yeah, would you say? Up the stairs, where you oh, up there's, there's, a, oh, there's even more up? Yeah, up there to your right. There's a three story? Wow. So we're... Yeah, it's all sort of funny levels. <laughs> no, that one is going down. Oh, here is the main room. This is the headroom in the traditional Turkish houses. The greeting room. In the mansions, he says, is the biggest room facing the best front view in the upper floor. It is usually one of the corner rooms of the mansions and houses and is a room with two exterior views. The room was approached with several stairs, floor, ceiling, and side walls were covered with wood. The walls are covered with wooden riches, and inside them, glass and porcelain objects were exhibited. Wow. This is the, the main room. Beautiful. It looks just like real. It looks like it was just standing next to me. And now uh, let's see over here. So we're going now. Uh, beautiful. All right, let's continue. Uh, I'm the guessing. Uh huh. If you could find, you could probably find out the history of this building. I know. By the time, by the time I'm we guessing posted, guessing this was some of this house. I would have more information. Yeah. I may even make a separate video yeah, just, just for this one. I'm yeah. I'm guessing this was somebody's house, and this would be like your everyday living quarter here. You see? Yeah, yeah. Up here. Oh, I'm pretty and sure it would was, be all bedrooms. It was a residential uh, yeah. building. It was probably somebody high up, some sort of aristocracy. I, I, we can safely say it was a mansion. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, looking at the roof, I mean, it's just this symbol work. It's right, right. Absolutely amazing. They've done such a beautiful job of preserving it. Yeah. If you were to look from here, uh huh. You see your house? Yeah, you can see there was at the back garden, but it's all Let me see. in a mess. <laughs> wow, there's some ancient yeah, uh, yeah, stuff in here more, first. Let me show you this ancient. Yeah. It looks like there's yeah. some, there might have some, some ruins over yeah, here. Yeah, they probably have. I mean, look at the archway there, you see? Yeah. Wow. See all these houses opposite? Which one is your house? There's two, two, it's like two doors on, two doors down here. Okay, right. One that of those. house you see there uh -huh. used to belong to the Melikian family. Okay. I mean, very beautiful house comparable with what we're in now uh-huh all these when these got built uh -huh. they were like the apartments of the time opposite uh -huh. and they were all uh, armenians that used to live in them all the way down across there yeah okay. let me just show right all right let's yeah. continue down this way
But it's lovely. This is this is probably over a hundred years old. This flooring. You know? Oh yeah. It's amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. The flooring. It is old. Uh, I agree. Because that's how they should do it to, to stay cool. And it feels so. very comfortable when you walk. Yeah. It's not bumpy. Upstairs, the only it, it looks bumpy, but when you walk yeah. on it, it's, no, no, it's really smooth. Only the bedrooms used to be wooden. It's, like, the rest it's really of the smooth and uh, comfortable. That's stonework. All right, we'll continue yeah, I the... I think this was a water well under here. Uh-huh. But it's, uh, it's quite something. Yeah. Well very, worth seeing, I think. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you see there's another well there. You see, I think it's all into This. Okay, got yeah. it. This one here. This one here. Yeah. And then this is connected with this one here, obviously. All right, let's continue yeah. the, the tour down on the street yeah. there. Good to you. Thank you. Job, job, take care. All right, very good. And again, we just came out of the the Riz Pasha Mansion Ethnographical Museum. So let's continue down this way now. Yeah, okay. These and that's, were all I recognize that's Victoria Street these there. These were all Armenian houses all the way along. This here. one, yeah. Yeah, all of them. You remember any other the names? Guy I told you about Parsek who had the kebab shop uh -huh. uh, down near um, Rochmaji. They used to live here. Uh -huh. The family that lived in here, they went to Australia. There were two sisters and a brother. Uh -huh. I actually met them back in 1982 when I went to Australia. I went and found them. <laughs> well, let's continue down this way. Yeah. Wow. See, these are all so this is the Riz Pasha Street. That's why they have that mansion there. That's where he lived. Yeah. There. That's why it's called. Uh, See, look at, uh, look at those the typical Nicosia architecture. These uh, yeah, yeah. tall uh, uh, shutters. Church up there. The sign. Can you take it? Yeah. On this side. Yeah. There's a million church that way. Turunjulu Jami. Yeah. You know what Turunjulu means? No. It's the um, Seville oranges. You know the, what they're making? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. go with? Yeah, yeah. Well, the Jami here must have been surrounded by those trees. Oh, and uh, that's probably call why it's Jami. called Turunjulu Jami. So let me just show you a little bit our viewers. Victoria Street. Yeah, the famous Victoria Street. Yeah, we'll wait till the guy comes with the car. So this is Victoria Street right over here. Let's just walk through there and uh, get a different vantage point from this because the other time we came the other way, so we're going the opposite direction now. And then we can see the the Holy Cross Catholic Church over there. This here. And then the Armenian church is over there. There used to be an Armenian, uh, he used to have a print, printers here. Uh -huh. There is machinery in here, he used to printing. Uh -huh. And this one here, the shops, there was an Armenian family, they were tailors. Uh -huh. This one, number 50? Yeah, these here. Do you remember the name of the family? Uh, no. <laughs> They're the sister called Lucine. Uh -huh. uh, what were the brothers' names? This Two was Jewish. Sorry? This was Jewish? No, no, no. no Armenian. Armenian. This, is Armenian. this one in the this, Armenian quarter. This, this area was Ar all yeah. Armenian. The whole, the whole area. Elias is an Armenian mm, Cypriot yes. grew up in this I area. I lived here. I was, uh, I was born here as a child. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you have Jewish um, corner? Jews, I don't remember Jews in the uh, area. I mean, this was purely Jewish. when the Armenians came from Anatolia. Yeah. yeah. When the genocide took place. Yeah. You know about the genocide, just like the Holocaust. Yeah. We had the first Holocaust, uh, the Armenians, yeah. in yes, 1915. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, when yes. they came... We had been in Armenia. Yes. Yes, yeah. well, last year, two years ago. Yeah, I've never been, believe it or not, I'm in Armenia. Oh, I've never been, I, I have to go. It's a wonderful yeah, yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. I have to go there. I'm half Armenian, half Greek Cypriot. I haven't been there either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But when they came from there, the ones who escaped and came to Cyprus, they originally came to Larnaca, because that's yeah. where the port was. Yeah. yeah. And after a year, maybe two, they came to Nicosia because this is where the business center was. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And because of the language problem, they didn't know Greek. 
but in Anatolia they were forced to speak Turkish only. They were they couldn't speak Armenian. They weren't allowed. Yeah. No church, no school. So Elias here is talking to some tourists about this area, he's talking to them about the Armenian quarter, we'll let him talk a little bit and then we'll, we'll show you this uh, Victoria Street. You, you can go inside. I, I knocked at the door. No. no. Yes. But he doesn't work. Yes, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but this, okay. this, this is the famous Victoria Street, Armenian uh, Victoria quarter. quarter. It's, you go all the way down, of course you come to a blockage, yeah, yeah. but it's part of the on the other side of the yeah. Catholic Church. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. And all the, all the churches are in the same uh, area here. There's a Maronite church on the other side, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, Armenian yeah. church. Yeah. Yeah. The Catholic Church, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they're all uh, in one area. It's just divided yeah. into two different areas. Yeah. But all the churches Maronitish. are there. Maronitish. Yeah, there's Maronitish. a Maronite, yes. Maronite, Maronite Church. Ca yes. Maronite yeah. Armenian Catholic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're, yeah, all, yeah. they're all there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Elias. Let's continue the, this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's going to tell them about the museum we just came out. Yeah. And. Uh, so let's just, let me just show you a lot of this, all buildings. That happens all the time when we do documentary. We run into people that, that uh, hear the people describing the area and they want to know more information. So there's a couple from Europe that wanted to know about the Armenian church and monastery. And, uh, and they were asking actually about Jewish presence in this part of Nicosia. And uh, this is another uh, real, real nice building here. Tunchur told me those, uh, um, how can I put it, uh, windows are sticking out from the, the, the, the part that is sticking out from the building is called Jumba. <coughs> Excuse me. And there are quite a few of those in, uh, in North Nicosia. If, if I turn the camera around and you see there's another one here, this brown one. That's another Jumba. So there are kind of balconies, but there are kind of enclosed balconies. You don't go out. And uh, all right, here it comes Elias again. So let's continue now on Victoria you know, Street. As a, as a child, uh -huh. growing up, uh -huh. roads, roads like this. Uh -huh. We used to think they go on for miles and miles. You know. I know when you're a kid, they look yeah, bigger, yeah, and, then you, and then you come and back. It is all really you know, small. But it's. Um, <laughs> I hear you, yeah. All these side turnings here. Yeah, this is, lead, by the way, the Riz Pasha. Leads uh, to the moat. Another one, uh huh. And yeah. The, there's a lovely park we used to go there of an evening. Cause it yeah, be cool we'll go over there. there. We'll go over yeah. there after we go this way. Yeah, this cafe has always been a. Um, this used to be a Turkish Zaharoblastil. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We used to come here and uh, buy things when we had money, of course. Yeah, he was one of the few Turks that was living amongst the Armenians here. Uh -huh. All right, let's go down there by the... This here, I think it was either this or that. Uh -huh. Last year when we filmed here with our friends from Toronto. Yeah. The wife's father used to have his business here. He used to be a furniture maker. Right, right. But I can't remember whether it was... I think it was these two here. Yeah, it's in the video, but her actual house was right here. Yeah, well, this was an Armenian property that was given. This one here? Yeah, it's become a restaurant now. It's beautiful inside. See, all the original floors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ask him if we can go there and film inside. Just for, five, just for two minutes. It's okay. All right. We'll show you upstairs as well if you want. Yeah. See, look at the beautiful staircase. A little bit like your cousin's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Staircase. Who are the Armenians? 
Buralarda öldüm. 12 yaşında İslam İngiltere'ye gittiler. So again, Elias uh, <laughs> got us into the whole Armenian house that is a restaurant and we're going to go and show around. We can go upstairs. I'll follow you, you go up. Do you remember the family that owned this house? The Armenian family or? Bokchalian, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. You see the arches again, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I would. Oh, here's the name. Here's the name of the camp family right here. Yeah, yeah, Mansion, restaurant. Yeah, Mansion restaurant. O dektaşlar o falan onun üstündeki. O biri kimdi? Ah. This is Tektaş here. Uh -huh. When he opened it, when the, the late Tektaş here, and the other guy is the guy who owns the actual restaurant. Okay. Here. Can we go upstairs? Or yeah, you, you can. Go? Yeah. You can go Ah, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go right upstairs. Again, I'm with you. Look at all this. You just don't see these uh -huh. sort of things. Ah, all beautiful. It's all part of the restaurant up here, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Size of this room, man. Yeah, yeah, look at the ceilings. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We can't tell which one was the bedroom yeah. or the. Um, but it's really. Well, wow. I'm pretty sure one of them was the bedroom, but it's really. Look at this. Yeah, there's another room there. Look at this, yeah. Amazing, yeah. Yeah. Look at these high ceilings. Yeah, the ceilings. It's two floors. It's amazing, yeah, it is. <laughs> look at nice. look at this radio. It must be the original yeah. radio. Look at this radio. We still have one like this. This is a Philips. Well, yeah, my. Uh, I don't know my, what this one is, but. Uh, my grandmother had one too. What's the name of it? I think every family had them back it's in the fifties. It's Grite. Even. Grite. This is. Yeah, ours was a Philips, I think. Wow, but look at that, look how big this, look at this door. door yeah. I mean, this yeah. must be at least six meters, this ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Five for sure. <laughs> wow. What's in there? That's probably another room. Okay. Oh. There's a bazooka here. Yeah, it's another room. Another room, yeah. All right, it's okay. We're gonna we we'll, we'll show it. Okay. Like We're thinking, yeah. Yeah. But this is amazing. The staircase. Yeah. Look at the staircase. The old staircase. But this is the original floor of the staircase. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Stay right up there. I'm gonna show you the. Yeah. Show the viewers the staircase. Wow, this is really, really good. All right, let's continue on back on Victoria Street. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So that was really, really. Amazing, this old Armenian uh, house, mansion, I would say, that became a restaurant now. And it was restored. And uh, Elias here is showing us the Armenian quarter. While he's talking to the people in the restaurant, I'll show you some Cypriot cats here. And this is on the other side, Victoria Street as well. It comes it is and then we'll continue we'll continue going down this way. Thanks. We'll continue going this way. See all these 
So you've got, just about, I don't know, I can't remember how many there are, but there must be about one, two, three, four or five uh -huh. of these. So this is Kamil Pasha. Narrow lanes that go to the park at the top and to the Venetian walls and divide that. Yeah, let's go down this way and show everyone that missed it from last time there. Yeah. The Armenian Church and Monastery, and if it's closed, it's okay. We had it. We filmed it before. See the bell tower of the Catholic Church from here. Hol well. Yes, it's called the Holy Cross Catholic Church. Yeah. And it's right on the other side of the street, and it's still on Victoria Street, believe it or not. Well, the church itself, and it's the main body of the church, uh -huh. is in the in the north. Right, right. Yet the face of it is in the in, in the south. south. Yeah. And this is the Armenian Church. Yeah. It's closed, but uh, we did it before, so yeah. we, go, yeah. we already went inside the film. But we're just going to show a little bit our our viewers. Yeah, this used to be the school here. Correct. This is the school, the, the elementary school, I believe yeah. it was. And that's the Armenian this monastery. Used to be the, uh, and then the Armenian church is right on, a little on, bit on the right. Yeah, down at where the arches are, to the right of that. And this yeah. used to be the archbishop's house. Right, right. This one here. Yeah, we saw. And then we, we'll go and show people the Armenian club as well, right here. Yeah, the club is right on the... On Mehmet Hussein Street. Yeah, on this alleyway here. Yeah, this is there. And actually, we can also show the school from over there. So this is the Armenian club. Yeah, it was like a here. Armenian social club back in the days. There was an event here uh, about a month ago. Um, yes, it was, an husband and it was an Armenian event. I remember. Yeah, they, was, um, they show a film. A Turkish Armenian, a uh, Turkish uh, film. Cypriot couple. They did a documentary. Ask him if we can go and film inside. That's the Armenian club. Ask him and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you here the... Let me know. Elias, let me know. We'll go inside. Do yeah, and then we go inside. So this is the... Oh, Armenian school, yeah. But ask him so... Well, what? Yeah, but I want to go in with the camera before you ask him. No, no, no. So this is the Armenian yeah, that's school the, that's and that's the, the Armenian school, church yeah. on the right. And then you can yeah. see... Uh, the plaza there. All right, let's go down this yeah. way. I'll wait for you out here. Just, just ask him if we can film. If you say okay, we'll go right in. I don't want to go without permission. So this is the yeah. It's the Nicosia Cultural Center. That's what it's. Okay, like. here you go. So this is the Nicosia Cultural Center. Other one knows is their Armenian club. And Galidechnigo Sanat Evi. Evi yeah. means house in Turkey. All right, ask him. I'll be right here. And then we'll go inside because we have we never film inside. So while Elias is trying to get the permission for us to go inside and film, I'm going to show you a little bit more of these other houses here, some balcony houses here. And again, this is the Jumba right here I was talking about. This one is a Jumba, which is a balcony that has no balcony, it's just sticking out. And um, I'm sure there was a reason building it uh, like that. And uh, And uh, Elias just gave me the okay to go in and film. So we're going inside the, the cultural center now. This used to be called the Armenian Club. Tell us about this, Elias. Hello. So this is a cultural center. Elias, tell us about this, uh, this house. Well, they've changed. I mean, it. They've, they've, a lot of it's been changed since uh -huh. I was I used to come here. They've made this into a theatre now. They oh, the hell that they want to film it. All right, so maybe it's too dark. Uh, let's see. You have a flash on it. It's quite nice, actually. It's a uh, you can still see it. Yeah, there is a light. I guess we can see. You can. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Let me go downstairs. Yeah. So this is where they have the screen movies. Theater productions. Yeah, they had one a few weeks. They had one a few weeks ago. Oh, it's run by American University of Science. Yeah. This is there. So let's see here. We have a little bit of a light here. We can show you the stage. Here we go. They had a documentary here about. Yeah. The All right. Let's go back this the way. The Armenian side of uh, the Cypriot events. Stories. Yeah. Are we able to go upstairs? Uh. Ask her, we can go upstairs. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. Ask her, we can go upstairs. Then we'll go upstairs. So this is the exhibition hall. Second museum is the art library. Yeah, you can go down here as well. 
So again, we're inside the Armenian Club in uh, right off uh, Victoria Street there, right outside the Armenian Church, the monastery, and this is called the Toy Museum. They made it into a toy, toy museum. Yeah, they made it into a toy museum. But I just want to show you the high ceilings again. Yeah. Oh, there's a light here if you want. She says. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. So this is the toy museum. Let's get another shot of it from this angle. Leave the light on. Let me see what's on this side. All right. All right. Let's go upstairs and see. Yeah. No. There's an Austin Healy 3000 there. There's a Corvette from the 1960 Route 66 model. <laughs> wow. Real nice toy. The cars are more like adult toy cars. The, the grown people like them more than the kids. Yeah, that's a map. You can come and see this. All right, let's go to. Oh, it's closed upstairs. Open? Okay, thank you. So it's open. So we'll go upstairs and uh, be careful here. Let's see what's upstairs. Look at this woodwork. You know, this is original, you see? This one? These, these beams that are going oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to support the, the roof. The roof, yeah. All right, let's go back upstairs. So again, we're on the Armenian quarter in the north part of Nicosia, Cyprus. I'm here with Elias. Armenian Cypriot that grew up in this area. And uh, I'm Chris Crescens. Just for the record, I'm half Armenian and half Greek Cypriot, Armenian from my father's side. So we're just going, uh, this is an art library. Maybe it's the other one, the art library. I don't see any art, but I see the, the floors. It's, it's an art on, on the wrong. Yeah, the ceiling here. Amazing architecture. I mean, yeah, you can amazing, give them. Yeah, you couldn't do this today. You, you can know. give them credit. Yeah, not only they're good, but they're still standing. You don't see any. When you consider the anything the falling the down or. So this is was the meeting room of the yeah, of the old Armenian club. Or seminars and things like that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, again, the high ceilings, the architecture, yeah. the doors, everything is uh, is uh, amazing. So we're right off uh, Victoria Street, everyone. By the, uh, we are actually inside the Armenian club. We have we we got. You here? Okay, good. Let me come and see, show the Armenian school from there. See these shutters? Look. Yeah, yeah. It's double window. Okay. Yeah. Look at the shutters of the wall. <laughs> yeah, that is the Armenian school, elementary school, right there. Filmed from the Armenian club. Yeah. And. Uh, all right, we're going to be wrapping up the video soon because we, I want to make it less than an hour. We're already in the 43 minute mark. And we'll just go. Really is lovely. Yeah, actually, there is the Holy Cross Church right there, yeah. the Catholic Church, the yeah, Campanario, the yeah. Bell Tower. Yeah. Let's see what else can we show from this side. Again, we are inside the Armenian club. That now became a cultural center, and we're in the north part of uh, Nicosia in uh, Cyprus. I'm here with Elias, a uh, Armenian Cypriot that grew up in this area as a child, and he's giving us a real, real comprehensive tour of the Armenian quarter. And uh, we did another video last year. You can search for it inside my channel. It's called uh, the tour of the Armenian uh, Armenians revisit Victoria Street, something like that. 
that's about 45 minute video and if you do like the videos uh, click on like on the video write a comment and also please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I film more videos all right yeah, okay we'll, we'll go outside and wrap it up right by Victoria Street there and then we'll we'll continue thank you very much and we hear the bells I'm guessing that's from uh, the Holy Cross yeah yeah let's go right that way yeah let's go and take a look thank you so the bells you just heard are coming from the Holy Cross um, Catholic Church and uh, no idea where we are actually now I do know where we are now this is the back of the Armenian monastery and we're gonna wrap the video up right here and finish it right here and again Elias Kol Halyan I'll spend the name correctly on the YouTube title led us through this comprehensive tour of uh, the Armenian quarter not just Victoria Street because last year we, we we were on Victoria Street but now we also did the side streets and we did actually go inside some of the buildings that we talked about last year so this is going to be like a part two of that documentary with Elias inside the the buildings of the Armenian quarter it, it, as you saw in the, in the video some of them became museums some of them became uh, restaurants and some of them like this one here we just came out of became a cultural center I'm referring to the Armenian club and this actually is, this is the back of the Armenian club that I didn't know before and uh, we're gonna wrap up the video so I want to thank uh, Elias for this tour I'll let him know when he comes out and uh, thank you everybody for watching